Hello everybody, welcome to Men's with PJ. Today's date, May 13, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be on courageous or courageously. We know in 1 Samuel 17, David was courageous when he went up against the Philistine Goliath and defeated him with only a sling and five smooth stones. Courageously, after killing Goliath, he cut off Goliath's head with his own sword and sent it to King Saul. In Joshua 23, 6-8, Be therefore very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the Law of Moses, that you may turn not aside there from the right hand or the left, that you may come not among these nations, These that remain among you neither make mention of the name of their gods nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow yourselves unto them, but cleave unto the Lord your God as you have done until this day. In 2 Chronicles 32, 7 and 8 Be strong and courageous. Be not afraid nor dismayed for the king of Assyria, nor for all the multitude that is with him, for there be more with us than with him. With him is an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. And the people rested themselves upon the words of Hezekiah, king of Judah. Amos 2.16 And he that is courageous among the mighty shall flee away naked in the day, said the Lord. Now here's what I'm getting. When God fights for you as he did for David, you can be courageous and defeat your enemies. You can be courageous when you keep the commandments that God has given Moses. God helps those who remain right with Him. As we get tempted by the devil, we need to be courageous and fight him off by having God fight for us, and the devil will flee from you. Out of our fear, we sometimes submit to temptation and aren't courageous. The Holy Spirit gives us the strength to be courageous. We have victory through Jesus who courageously beat Satan at the cross and with the resurrection. I want you to think about all this today and have a blessing.